Hello and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy and I am going to show you in this video how you can do something that I get asked about every day. How do you take the little red circle that has initials in it and turn that into an actual picture? So let's dive into how this happens. First, it begins in the data source. In the data, we'll have to have a column that has a URL to the image that we want to display. So I've already gone ahead and in my typical contacts data, created a new column uh, called customer photo, way down here at the end. And it, when I set the column up, I basically said if the contact was Abby Moss, put this URL into this image that I went and pulled off the, net, off the internet. So that's why we have one for Abby Moss. But uh, you will have to have a full URL, and it will need to be something that's accessible uh, to the system in order for it to show up. And once you have that, then we can go ahead and start adding it into our process. So it begins in Unify. We're going to go into the contacts, and we're going to add that field in called contact photo. That field is going to have to have a type. Now, mine is pre-filled in. Um, it may not show up in your dropdown um, because we are in the process of adding these in to the list of types for the common data form, common data model. Um, but it needs to be person profile image, or in the case of a B two B scenario where you're where you're consolidating accounts um, down, it would be organization logo image. And again, those will show up, but you can type it in by hand if you need to. So after we've saved our map and go over to match, we can go ahead and run that. And once that's done running, we'll come back and we'll run the merge. Okay, and now that the match is finished running, we can go over to merge and we will need to add that field in to our list. So I have to add it here. Of course, if you already had it in your data to begin with, uh, you would not have to add it. It should just show up because it was part of the original data. But if not, if it's not there, you can go ahead and add it. And then we'll have to save that and go ahead and run it. And when this finishes running, I'll be back. Okay, and now that the merge has completed running, we will have to wait for a little bit while the search goes ahead and runs, which should kick in here just in a moment. There we go. Search is kicked in. So we'll wait for that to finish, and then we should be able to go to customers and see our image. I will be back when that finishes. All right, so now that search is finished running, let's go see if we've got a picture. If we go into the customers section and we start searching for our friend Abby, oh, got to spell it right. We see Abby Moss, and look at that. She's got a picture. That is how you get an image to show up on your contact cards within Customer Insights. Uh, again, that is by setting, having a field that has the value in it, uh, URL to the picture, and defining it as a mapped field to person.profile image or organization.logo image. And you will be all set, and they will show up. Hope you enjoyed this episode of CI in Under 5, and that you tune in again as we post more episodes soon.